Welcome to Maker Mondays with Harris County Public Library. This week, we'll be creating a 3D printed lithophane. You can find written instructions and more for this activity at hcpl.net. So what exactly is a lithophane? Simply put, it's a very thin three-dimensional image that can be revealed through light. The effect is achieved by altering the thickness of the material, where thinner areas allow light to pass through and act as highlights, and thicker areas act as shading. Lithophanes have actually been popular since the 1820s and were traditionally made of porcelain, but can now be created in a matter of minutes with a 3D printer. At HCPL, we've even created a lithophane display box for our 100th anniversary. We used our digital archives to find images of the libraries throughout the years, and Maker Labs across the county are printing a series of lithophanes that showcase some of our earliest services and locations. Here's how you can create your own lithophane. First, select your image. I'll be using photos from www.digitalarchive.hcpl.net where you can check out awesome exhibits and photos all year long. This photo, for example, shows one of our very first bookmobiles. I'll download it and use a photo editing application to change the saturation of the image to zero, making it completely grayscale. Lithophane generating software uses these black and white values to easily identify where light should shine through. Next, you'll need a 3D slicing software. These programs are normally used to translate 3D files into code for 3D printers. But now, most have the ability to generate lithophanes just by opening an image in the program. Cura is a great free slicing software to start off with. In your slicing software, click File, Open File, and select your image. A dialog box may pop up where you can define the settings of your lithophane, like thickness, smoothness, or which color you want to be darker. Two to four millimeters thickness should give a good amount of depth to our photo. And selecting darker as higher will make sure the light doesn't pass through the shaded areas of our photo. Click OK and your 3D lithophane will generate. It may not look like much at first, but all of the ridges and bumps will come to life once you shine a light through them. To get the clearest view of your lithophane in the software, rotate the view until you're looking straight down on the 3D model, and this should show a little clearer picture of what will be 3D printed. Click File Save As and save your 3D model as an STL. You can use an STL to 3D print, edit in 3D design software, and more. If you have access to a 3D printer, there are a few things you need to adjust before printing. You want to use high detail settings, like changing your layer height to 0.1 millimeters. Then make sure your infill is set to 100%, making your print completely solid. Lastly, make sure that you're using white filament since this is the easiest for light to shine through. Once you've changed the settings to your liking, you're ready to 3D print. Send it to your 3D printer and the machine will do the rest of the work for you. In a couple of hours, your lithophane will be complete. Hold it up to the light to reveal your image. Make sure to display it on a windowsill or in front of a light source to show off your creation. As always, thanks for joining us for Maker Mondays and let us know what you create by tagging it with the hashtag HCPLMadeIt. Remember to check out your local library for even more book recommendations and inspiration.